How's it going everybody? I'm Cherokee Ronnie and today we're going to be making a video on things you need to take before you go off-road. A lot of people will go off-road and they won't even have half the equipment that they need to go off-road. So make sure you watch this whole video. I'll talk about things you need, basic things you need to get you on the trail and ready to wheel with everybody else. <laughs> is my 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Um, we built it on a budget. I'll leave the link in the description of all the episodes to that. There are several episodes on how we built this thing for like 3,500 bucks. That's including everything that you see right here. Six inch lift, 35s, winch, bumpers, all that stuff. So this is the rig that of, this is the rig of my choice. These are cheap, you can buy them anywhere. So. Let's talk about the things that you need before you hit the trail. And that is a, at least an off-road bumper for the front and a winch. Um, I like to have a winch because it's good to have a winch to pull yourself out or help somebody else in need. And you're gonna have to have, the, have, to have a aftermarket bumper to do that. This one was already on there. So this is why it's got these things welded. Used to have a stinger, but somebody cut it off. This bumper came with the Jeep, and so I just threw the winch on, and it turned out great. Um, another thing that you're going to need is at least a lift kit of, I, I recommend at least three inches. I'm sitting at six inches. I recommend three uh, for your first time going out um, because you don't know if you're going to be off-roading or not if it's your first time. So... You don't want to go too high to where it makes the Jeep undrivable and enjoyable on the road. So I recommend three. I'm at six and I sometimes daily drive this thing. Not all the time. I have a Wrangler that I daily drive. Um, so the next thing after you get your lift, you're going to need tires. Um, I prefer some kind of mud tires. We kept it budget friendly by buying Mud Claw Extreme mud tires. You can run all trains, but I really recommend mud tires because I've seen a lot of newbies come out with like all train tires, really cheap ones, and we had to pull them mostly through the trail. So I do recommend mud tires, but all trains will get you there. Um, just depends what trail you're going to be hitting. And another big issue with new off-roaders, you need a recovery point. This Jeep did not come with a hitch, so we put a rear bumper on that ties into the unibody so you can actually... Uh, pull with it or be pulled out with it. So I have two recovery points in the back and I also have two recovery points in the front. Another thing that I like to carry with me, there will be a video in the description below on all the recovery gear that I carry. Um, I carry it in a bag, all of it fits in this bag and it comes with, you know, extra stuff that I need. I'm going to need off-road. So make sure you go back and watch that video um, because you're going to need stuff like this when you're off-roading so make sure you do not forget recovery gear even though you have a winch on the front you still need recovery gear and while we're talking about recovery gear don't forget a pretty basic tool set i usually have one for harbor freight that i carry with me it's not in this jeep it's in the other one but um make sure you carry a tool set with you also Another thing that we usually run into is people that don't know how to use their vehicle. Now, I understand if you're new to off-roading, it's, it's, it's a new thing, it's exciting, and you just want to get out there and do it. But learn your vehicle first because, it, um, for one, it don't hold up the trail, and two, it'll keep you from some sticky, sticky situations on the trail. So make sure you know how to work your lights and all that stuff. But most importantly, make sure you know how to work your four-wheel drive system. Make sure you read the owner's manual or have somebody teach you, teach you the gears that you need to be in and all that stuff before you come out on the trail. Go find a little, a little, you know, not a hard trail, something you're not going to get stuck on and go learn how to use your four drive, learn how it reacts because sharp turns and 
how it feels in the wheel. Just make sure you put it in four-wheel drive, get to know the vehicle, and understand how it's going to react so you're not going to get out there and it's going to freak you out. This is some pretty basic stuff to get you out on the trail. We uh, talked about recovery points. So we got a front bumper you can mount a winch to. We have a winch. We have a rear bumper that has recovery points if we have to pull or be pulled. Uh, we have a lift. We have mud tires and we have recovery gear and some tools now one thing i am leaving out because i do not have room in this is a spare tire but i do carry a tire plug kit and a little air compressor if you go out just with what you have you're going to be in a pickle someday and you're going to wish you had this equipment and i know some of this stuff can be pricey but when it comes to the cherokee all this stuff is actually pretty cheap. Like I said, I got a whole episode on building this Jeep, and it's been a great rig so far. I got videos coming out of me wheeling it. It's been great. I mean, it's it's held up great for the cheap parts that we bought for it. And uh, if you have a Wrangler, you can do the same thing. Uh, just It applies to the Wrangler the same way. To make sure you have the recovery points and all that. Any off-road vehicle, this pretty much applies to. These, this advice does. So make sure you have this basic stuff. I can go in deeper depth on what you need for a experienced off-roader or a overlander. I can go into depth with that. But this will get you out there. And one of the tips that I could give you, uh, wanting to get, like if you're, if you're just now starting to do off-road uh, trail rides uh, the best advice I could give you be patient and wait for somebody to go with you because you do not want to go by yourself um, back when I started getting into jeeps and everything I was so excited to hit the trail went out by myself one time and actually got stuck for two days and I had to pull, pay a guy $100 to get his Chevy with chains all the way around it to come pull me out so never go wheeling by yourself because one day you will get stuck and if you do find yourself, you know, on an adventure, uh, a, a Sunday drive, if it looks like something you can't hit, don't hit it. Even though you have a winch and recovery gear, don't hit it. Make sure you always take somebody wheeling with you. So that's the best advice I could give you. Take your time, learn, listen to the experienced drivers. And if there's a spotter there, listen to the spotter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make a little video on what I have and what I carry and what's helped me off-road. Um, I am going to be planning a little stock-friendly. It's it's a mild trail. It's not for, you know, it, there's some fun obstacles on it here in West Virginia. So if you live in Morgantown, Fairmont, Bridgeport, or close to those areas, I'm going to be planning a day where we're going to have a stock-friendly trail ride. Um... We're going to hit some trails. We're going to hit some blacktop. We're going to hit some trails and stuff like that. It's about five, six hour drive. You know, we're just going to make a big loop and stop and have fun and, and take a look at some of the sceneries. And a lot of you guys probably know where it's at. Uh, but I wanted to get the new guys, the fresh guys out there. Uh, I've been on hard trails. I've been on trails that had to be pulled out of. You know, I've been, I've been through all that. And I want to get a whole new generation into the whole trail riding game. Whether it's Jeeps, Toyotas, it doesn't matter. A Wrangler. That's the problem with the off-road world is we single out certain vehicles, especially the Jeep community. If you have a Wrangler and you're a Cherokee fan, you get hated on so bad. So this ride that I'm getting ready to put together, you got a new Grand Cherokee, an old Grand Cherokee, a Cherokee, a Wrangler. It does not matter. Heck, if you have a new Gladiator... It does not matter. If you want to get out here and feel what it likes to, you know, climb up over some rocks and hit a little bit of mud and go up some hills, this ride's for you to get you out there and to make you understand what you need to do and what it feels like. I really love Jeeps and I really love the community. I don't care if you have a Wrangler. I don't care if you drive a new Grand Cherokee. I don't care if you drive a Renegade. You can still off-road those. There's a whole YouTube channel on Renegades going off-road. But I, I have an open mind when it comes to the Jeep community. doesn't matter what you have. I have a Wrangler. I have a Cherokee. So it doesn't matter. So like I said, I am planning on a ride. Make sure you follow my Facebook, Cherokee Ronnie Facebook, because that's where it will be announced. And uh, it will give you the time and where we're going to be meeting and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go over to the Facebook the link will be in the description below to check that out also. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friend.